Okay. We will have probably all received a greater amount of detail today. So let's see how we can share some of it. Endeavoring to make it brief but full, as the Tibetan calls it. Let's practice being synthetic in our sharing, always as a gift to the group. This is Margo. Hi, Margo. Greetings, everyone. I saw nations, color, color, the nations were each had a color, these colorful groups of activity. And humanity was a, like a great beehive with each nation having a particular function in the whole and that the pattern of this wholeness and how how the nations interact is shifting refining reforming canada seemed to be perfectly placed as a support to the us great britain and possibly russia mm. physically strength depth beauty wilderness holding a special frequency a particular frequency that seemed important to uh, among nations humans our, our cities were like acupoints along a meridian or meridians and the spirit of the land kept trans appearing emotional there was grief and fear fractured terror but coming rising up through that a sense of hope um, community connection um, that i saw the flag blowing in the wind people of the leaf Mm -hmm. mental polarization beginning to shift to something new something new is beginning to bubble up and gain strength and traction and again with all nations a new world pattern emerging mm -hmm. Thank you, Marco. Beautiful sharing. Um, could you also maybe say, um, for us it is important also to get some feedback on, on the meditation. Was it too long, too detailed? I didn't find it so at all. No, it, it was necessary. Um, it felt very necessary and with the pauses to be able to attune to what we were uh, focused on and allow that to precipitate into mm -hmm. a, a form that that could be written registered and written mm. thanks Hello, everyone. Um, this is Martha. Hello, Martha. The United States. The meditation worked beautifully for me as well. Exactly what Margo said. The um, there was a discovery uh, in relation to the United States that came up when we were 
uh, on the physical plane. And that was that this land, this group of people is actually between 15 and 30,000 years old. And to confine ourselves in an understanding of when white people federated is like reducing uh, that beauty that Margot talked about um, into, uh, into a very small container. S so as we moved along, I kept thinking of what, what is it like when a country forgets who it may really be? Mm -hmm. And thought about when I thought about our country being much, much older than 250 years, I thought it forgot how diverse it was and how this may be a time in the mental plane for it to re remember and to uh, not to, 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 to re-remember this, this greatness of the diversity, both of land and the people that populated it. And to recognize <clears throat> its experimental nature. But what my takeaway was, Prior to this meeting, I had focused on the soul of my country combining personality with soul. But I am going to now focus more on its personality, finding a way to integrate all of these various dimensions on the physical, astral, and mental plane. Yes, <clears throat> from this higher vantage point, once we have um, connected, linked into the, into the soul of the nation and having established this footing above the personality, at least for the little bit that we are able to, it gives us the possibility to have a, a more integrative look and then we see really things that we couldn't see before. Thank you for sharing this, Martha. Very important. Hi, this is Efrat from Michal Group of Jerusalem. Uh, thank you, Uta, for this beautiful meditation, and thank you, Helen, for this beautiful alignment. Um, when you start when, at the beginning of our explanation and the, also the beginning of the meditation, you say that the uh, to look at the physical field or the physical uh, body of a nation, it's the easiest thing. <laughs> yes. And for me, <laughs> <laughs> and for me as a Jewish Israeli person, it, it's so complicated hmm. because uh, as a, if the soul of the Jewish people has to do with Israel, so Israel does not uh, have a border yet after 73 years, or a Greek border that we can uh, say. Uh, if the Jewish soul doesn't have to do with Israel as a state, but with the Jewish people, so most of the Jewish people are 
spreading the world in the diaspora. So um, I try just to, to feel, to, to sense how does it feel not knowing the border of your physical body where everything must, uh, it's, it's like the basis, basic. And at the same time, uh, when some glimpse of the Jewish soul gave a um, different sense of something very old, very established in a way. So I just want to bring this dissonance here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, yes. Mm. It's a little bit similar, I mean, it's much more complex, but it, it reminds also of what Martha has just shared, huh? that Israel and how much it has to do with the Jewish people and how much it has to do in order to be a full, uh, a full entity with the indigenous people living there. In order not to, Martha has said, to reduce it into a very small container. Of the last 70 years, you know. Wow, it's very complex. I see that Rosita has raised your hand. Can you unmute yourself? Yes. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, this is Rosita from Britain. Um, thank you. That was a lovely meditation. Um, in Britain, we're going through a lot because of Brexit. And in a way, much is changing. So, um, and then right after Brexit came the lockdown and the pandemic. So, um, all this is bringing a sense of possible renewal, I think, underneath the surface. Um, so, in the physical, uh, British people have always loved nature and especially gardens. So gardens are terribly important in the national consciousness. Um, but there is a kind of tension between the cities and the countryside and, and not a flow between them so much uh, anymore. That's a complex issue. Um, in terms of the emotional body, there's quite a lot of anger under the surface always, and it comes out in the press, which can be very vitriolic. Um, but it's, I think it goes back to the 16th, 17th centuries. Um, it, British people have always challenged rulership. They will not sit down and just take it. They are always pushing for accountability. And this is a strong thing now that anybody in power must be accountable. Um, so then a great thing is happening right now, which is since the death of George Floyd in America, mm -hmm. um, it came out that um, colored people, not just black people, but um, all the uh, ethnic minorities of color have been feeling invisible. And this came out in the press and it changed overnight. Overnight, we have a new sense of what it means to be British, a much more multicultural um, sense of who we are. And that's happened very, very quickly. Um, which is really wonderful and is creating deep change, deep change, because um, I think of Britain as very ancient and tired. It has a kind of tired civilization. And now 
to have something new emerge like that is really totally wonderful. Mm. So, and, that, and the other thing, the last thing is that there's a, a great sense of unity in the country, which is not normal because we've got four countries in one country. Um, but there's unity because of the lockdowns, a year in lockdown, and we're just emerging. And this, this sense of we're all in this together. We've always, we've been through this together. And... Um, emerging now and um yes this expectancy what's going to happen now hmm. well a breath of fresh air yes absolutely beautiful Yes, yes, Annette is speaking from Germany. Um, I enjoyed very much these coming from outside to the nation, uh, looking at first to the whole um, planet with all these nations on it. And I had a, um, a perception, or, or I saw um, in the a, a, an evolution when tribes and peoples and nations have united over a long period of time because they were so more able to survive and more powerful. Um, often they did this um, through weddings between powerful families and royal houses. And, and I thought by myself, now we have to do this, this with the consciousness of the nations um, to build a group consciousness, a unity consciousness of the one, one human family. Um, it was like a, a movie I saw from, from outside coming down. Um, and regarding my own nation, Germany, I was today rather surprised um, by the underlying calm and stability that I felt in meditation, despite these various unrest and uh, in the outside, I feel in my daily, daily life. So this was my experience. Thank you. Mm. Thanks, Annette. There are several comments that came as the uh, question and uh, I posted them to chat window so I can read them. Mm -hmm. um, the Dita wrote, um, and I'm not sure where Dita is from, maybe they could add that to the comment. One red flood, I'm not sure what it's, maybe it's some kind of misspelling like in the root center, like cables, like net. Two, the color blue of hope. Three, line for strong leader, not consciousness, with a dark shadow like smoke over the nails. Something good to, to, to know what nation uh, Dita is uh, belong to. And another comment from Agatha. One, nation and countries are not necessarily the same. And so when looking at them, I saw more the region than the border con contours. And two, when we look at the whole of humanity, it was very clear to me again that there are many groups of people, mostly ancient in their historical presence, who never really identify as nations yet, where integral to the whole. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, Dita wrote that she's from Denmark. So her comment was related uh, to Denmark. Denmark, okay. Yes. Wow. Yes, and another voice from Denmark. I'm Grete. 
I'm a member, member of the Klangschale in Germany and the Chal in, in Jerusalem. But this time, tonight, and thank you for this wonderful meditation. Uh, what I experienced looking at Denmark, uh, we all know all the problems uh, which we have here, and there's a lot of uh, sadness and a lot of uh, anxiety. But at the same time, more and more people are, uh, start, are starting new projects. And when they have lost their jobs, they are starting new projects. Something new is coming up, new ways of thinking. And uh, they are using their creative skills. It's very interesting to watch. And um, we see here that also the connection to nature is growing very intensively. Many, many people are using nature in quite another way as they used to. Uh, they are uh, arranged many tours and it's really a, a, a new way of living here uh, regarding to nature. So something is uh, emerging and something new is coming up in spite of uh, all the problems we know. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Greta. And thank you, Agota, for highlighting these different aspects of this work um, that we still need to ponder and uh, get clearer in our understanding what's the difference between a nation and a country a region and uh, a, a human a, a state. Um, they all have a little bit of a different flavor or different definitions and they're overlapping. They're happening simultaneously, but not necessarily um, in the same borders or, or containing the same people. So it's, it's, it's rather complex and as some of you have shared, there are new ways to, to, to view this and um, we are trying out new integrative ways to understand what these collectives are. Hi, this is Helen. Um, it's uh, so very interesting to hear all the um, all the sharings. Um, I would like to share a small uh, aspect of uh, how I saw uh, my country, Israel, in uh, in the meditation. First of all, on the physical level. Uh, if I said it, uh, yeah, that it has no borders, I saw it from above like um, like a, 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 a nail, a nail in the middle of a big <laughs> of, of a big area, you know, that is uh, more or less a desert, a, a de desertic like a, a desert, Arab nations, ancient nations. And this country uh, that is uh, 74 years old and uh, uh, is like a nail in the middle of all that. It was a very, uh, very strong, uh, very strong image. And uh, since uh, uh, in my personal life, I am like a newcomer there. I have, I was not born there. So when I came, um, many, many years ago, I saw this country like a, something fantastic, so um, um, so diverse and uh, so uh, so united and as of everything. 
all kinds of uh, Jewish people, all kinds of Arab people. And I saw it like uh, Sajoli desc describes humanity, you know, a body with, the, with cells and each of those cells are very necessary and, and special. And when I zoomed, <laughs> When I zoomed on uh, uh, on, the, on the country itself, it is definitely very um, diverse, uh, and uh, and uh, the image that came to my mind is uh, like like an astrological um, chart. The truth of the matter is that I don't know uh, the birth chart of Israel. I have no idea what it what it is. I have to look into it. But I saw like uh, a chart with a million grand crosses, you know, <laughs> opposite, it, you know, pu pu there's pulling in opposite directions everywhere, everywhere, 3, 360 degrees uh, around. It was, it was really, uh, it, <laughs> it was really very strong and, um, uh, Yes, and uh, the signs of of uh, the new civilization that uh, came uh, came up in uh, in this uh, meditation that was so so focused on uh, on the country I am in now is um, what is happening now uh, with uh, with all the all those. Uh, uh, this habit of of having uh, elections every few months, and uh, and uh, the um, and the thought forms that on one hand are so very in, uh, 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 rooted in uh, in uh, uh, it, 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 mostly in, in religious thought forms, and the 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 democratic uh, very strong um, movement that is um, uh, emerging and that is uh, giving a lot of hope uh, of something new coming up so thank you uta for this uh, great opportunity to to look uh, to look from from above uh, to all that and uh, and you're asking about the length of the meditation it was for me it was perfect mm. thank you okay thanks and There are a couple more comments uh, that came through the questions section. Uh, they're now reposted in the chat uh, from Santana. Born in Scotland, grew up in Canada, in the East Coast, now live in California. I saw Canada and North America as a whole, and I don't know all of it, but I saw the beauty and diversity of the landscape and oceans on the physical plane and the hecticness of people rushing around to make a living on the emotional level there was turbulence fear worry anger on the mental plane there was golden yellow light and a sense of hope for the future at the same time there was an element of controlling of the masses by a few and not leaving people free to live their lives. Thank you. Thank you, Santana. And one more comment from Agatha from Hungary. Yes, I support the thought of evoking new integrative thoughts, which may include all that is all around the globe. And there is a question that just came from Kit. Uh, um, 
what does uh, Helen mean by the Israel as a nail? Maybe Helen, you can. <laughs> there's a, there's an expression in Hebrew that says "kots be wherever." You know, <laughs> it means it means it's a, it's a small, very small area, very very sharp, uh, very hard, and it hurts. <laughs> It's so, a thorn, like a thorn, I think. Maybe you like say a thorn, in English, like a thorn, thorn in the side or in the butt. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, um, yes. So this small country uh, here uh, planted itself uh, where, where uh, you know, um, many thousands of years ago it, it existed and so on. And then at the beginning of, of the century, it got to be a reality here, and it's uh, it's uh, a reality that is uh, controversial till now. Um, so, what I feel is like uh, it is here. It exists for uh, three quarters of a century, um, and things have to happen to make it. Uh, an integral part of this area, yeah, and then of this world. This is what I meant by the nail. You know, when I comments, it hmm? came to mind that perhaps what we're getting to in our various locations is the fact that that may be true for the new group of world servers as well. That we're kind of inside from the standpoint of seeing something better. It, it, it comes to mind uh, Gloria Cook's observation about group process. And if we think of ourselves as a brotherhood of nations, there's that process of the speaker used the word integral. And that involves a good deal of what we call stirring the pot and that if we find together in our various ideas if we find the center in the ajna to find the steady in the light place to allow for this great stirring to take place perhaps this will be uh, the process that will make us more soul conscious from a planetary perspective. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So group reflections like we have it now, I think are very precious in this process. To hear from each other, you know, we are like representatives of uh, of the Ajna Center of our nation and uh, sharing on that level together. Um, we can, it helps a lot to understand, to open up, to get, to get a more integrative understanding of our nations, of others' nations share that it's also it's interesting that uh, uh, several themes here repeated themselves yeah this integrative this this um, almost yearning to to make whole to include that which we, we could not include until now in order to get it right, to address these tensions. And also some voices where already something new uh, and fresh is coming out now. It's so strengthening, so heartening to hear this from this perspective, from somebody who is taking, who's consciously standing between the soul and the personality of a nation. Thank you for all this precious sharing.
I, I would like to share an impression that came during the meditation. I didn't completely integrate it yet, but it's it was it was very difficult experience and very hard experience, I, I should say, uh, of connecting with the emotional level and the mental level of my nation of Ukraine and a lot of pain and uh, it's always so ins inspiring to link with the soul of the nation and be in that light and invoke that light to come but when linking with the personality it's it's very different experience and uh, it, it, it reminded me the, of the, so many those songs and poetry that, uh, that I've learned as a kid that's always had that pain that our great poets always experienced just when they observed what's happening. And it's just so hard to rec recognize that very little change was centuries and and i think it's part of our collective experience as disciples to absorb that pain of our nations and integrate it and still be in alignment with the soul and bring that light of the soul into the suffering and the vision to hold that vision that's that's the the future can be different and the future will be different. Sasha, thank you for this deep sharing. Yeah. When we assume this role of silent watcher of our nation, we have this um, choice to either, um, not either or, but, but there are these two aspects to it, as you said, to open ourselves to the, <clears throat> to the um, energy of the, of the soul and to just channel it. And there's this other aspect of, of really looking into the personality of the nation. And if we do this, on the one hand, with an enlightened mind, so we can discern things, which is also very important. But if when we do it also with a, with a, from the group heart, then, then yes, then we are doing this work of absorbing the pain of our nations and cleaning and healing all this, all this pain, all this injustice, all this violence, and whatever it is in our our nation. Um, yeah, it's a deep job for some of nations. It's deeper. Mm. And the, um, that we are doing it together, that we are standing together in this, it gives us more capacity to do that and more stability, not to be drowned in this. This collective work is really, really, we, we spoke about it in, in previous uh, labs also. It, it, it really is, um, how you say it, um, um, it has this pull, it can pull us, it can, can do a tsunami in us. Yeah. And we learn. 
to hold a good balance. There's a comment from Josette. Sasha, can you read it, please? We don't hear you. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mute myself. Yes, Josette from France wrote, French people seem to be lost in our time because the link with the soul of our nation is so far. The soul inspiration is equality, brotherhood, and freedom. There is nothing of this now, and there is much trouble, much pain and fear. Hello, Jim Clark here, can you hear me? Jim, yes, hello. Hello. If I could indulge you for just a minute all, listening to everything that's being said, and I'm in Mexico, and probably of all the countries that uh, have reported so far, we would probably be considered the most uh, third world. And a lot of things go along with third world. And as I was writing my notes down, I thought, you know, I, I'm really not going to bring those up. I mean, that they're really, they're quite negative. And I don't want to put a negative spin on this. So if you wouldn't mind bearing with me just one second, I would like to read from uh, the seventh ray, the revealer of the new age. The very first paragraph that is that was put in here in this compilation from esoteric psychology, it'll just take me a minute if that's okay. Yes, please. It might first be stated that the main problem of today is brought about by the fact that two rays of great potency are functioning simultaneously. As yet, their effects are so equally balanced that a situation is brought about, which is described in the ancient archives in the following terms. A time of rending when the mountains which have sheltered, fall from their high places, and the voices of men are lost in the crash and thunder of the fall. Such periods come only to rare and long intervals, and each time they come, a peculiarly significant period of divine activity is ushered in. Old things pass entirely away, yet the ancient landmarks are restored. The seventh ray of ceremonial order or ritual is coming into manifestation. The sixth ray of idealism or of abstract visioning is slowly passing out. The seventh ray will bring into expression that which was visioned and that which constituted the ideals of the preceding cycle of the sixth ray activity. One, way, one ray prepares the way for another ray and the reason for the manifestation of one ray or another is dependent upon the plan and divine purpose. It is not often that two rays follow each other in a regular numerical sequence, such as is now happening. When this does happen, there eventuates a rapid following of effect upon cause. <laughs> and this today can provide the basis for an assured hope. And in my observation here in Mexico, I am just startled on, on almost a daily basis around the idea of the eventuating of a rapid following effect upon cause. Although I've been around for several years, I don't ever recall seeing a time when this energetic is so in your face, it's so obvious. But then all of a sudden it becomes obvious to everyone. You know, I mean, the, the way, of course, the title of the book is The Revealer of the New Age, we know that. And so these revelations, the uncovering and the unmasking of everything that all of us, I think, in every country can relate to regarding the dark side of humanity, 
is now being brought in, brought to light. And uh, as we've commented before, where Leonard Cohen mentions, you know, there's cracks in everything. And that's where the light comes through. And so it's just cracking apart everywhere. Yeah. And for me, that really, I mean, I, it's just it, to see just one, something happen one afternoon. And by the next morning, there's light being shown upon it everywhere. And people are going, whoa, wow. I knew it was like that, but, I, but nobody ever dared, you know, bring, bring it to light. And so here we are, all of us on this call and, and the things that are reporting from our different countries. And I think everybody could probably share with what, I, or can probably empathize with and, and can look upon their nations and say, yeah, this is happening everywhere. And, and so the Tibetan finishes with, and this today can provide the basis for an assured hope. Yeah. Yes, I resonate very much with this <laughs> rapid following effect upon cause. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it is amazing. I think our time is up, huh? Alexander. Yes. Um, yes. Is it close to the end. So, if you have any last uh, comments, Uta, or anyone in the group, please. Yes. Um, I would like to uh, say again, we have um, I um, we have all the texts. Uh, of our lab, of uh, what we what we did in previous labs and also in this lab. But there's also, of course, the recordings on the 2025 initiative website. It's a bit difficult to find them, but if you persevere, you find them. And we are still um, uh, in process of um, organizing something on our Hechal website, where it will be um, made available in a structural way and for now if you are interested in any text also the meditation outline um, that we used um, please call on us write me an email i can send it to you so you don't need to take notes during the uh, the webinars and also, again, I would like to encourage you, if there's anything, any questions or any um, feedback, what is missing or what is, you know, how, how can we improve, um, any ideas of what to focus on, please share them also. And I just posted in the chat uh, the uh, some information. There is uh, Uta's email that you can uh, reach out directly. There's also a link to uh, our website, 2025 Initiatives website, where you can find the recordings. And as well, they are available on our YouTube channel. And there's a link to Uta's uh, book, Awaken the Will to Love. So you can copy that information from the chat now. And um, we invite you to join our coming uh, webinars. And uh, now on the screen, you see our schedule for this uh, coming month uh, of April. And that's, you see that the next Creative Lab Awakening the Soul of Our Nations will be on April 27th. And that will be the first day of distribution for the Vesak Festival. Mm. So we are entering into the high interlude of the year and many blessings upon us.
let's hold them together yes thank you all much love